With this video, I'll be introducing you to the entire concept of smoking on every single map separately. So if you want to get to know how to properly smoke on every map in Valorant, but also get the idea of why you do that, this video is for you. Welcome to Lotus Lab. Today we're going to start our um, compendium of smokes. And this is the first uh, video from this uh, series. We're going to start with Ascent. This is still work in progress, so there might be more stuff added in the future. But it, I feel like this is the basis that we will be working on. So in the file that I'm going to link in the description of the video, you're going to have few resources here and that I'm building over time and now I started working on the uh, compendium of smokes. There's an ascent here uh, and bind and in those files and those sheets you're gonna find a lot of examples of how to follow and I'm gonna explain the concepts right now and how you do you read that and what do you want to understand from those um, uh, setups here that I share uh, in the sheet. So it's gonna start with simple execute setups on ascent we're gonna think like, oh man, that is so basic. But it's actually not that basic because many people mess it up. So, for example, when we talk about the setup on Ascent on the B side, like you can clearly see that there's a, uh, there's a logic behind how the smokes are being placed because the smoke that the attacker, attackers are doing cannot go through this line, right? So you never, you never can make a smoke that goes over the line. It's incredibly important because if it goes over this line, it's easier for opponents to walk out of them because you give them more space. For example, if it's like this, that means that the players can go out of market and go stairs without being spotted from the spot in logs and vice versa, right? So it's very important to understand that in this in this uh, video and in other videos that I'm going to be talking about, this is one of the main logical um, conclusions that I need to reach when you're putting a smoke. We're going to put a lot of video sources here on the right with another guide on the basics of smokes as well, but in a general topic, not a specific map. Now, you can see the smokes have numbers as well. So the point of that is, is to understand that if you do multiple smokes, you want to put a smoke in specific order to avoid point of contact as you go into that execute. The reason why you smoke market first instead of CT is because the angle that you approach from is always seeing the market first. You don't see CT, CT first, you always see market first. So the more important smoke to put on uh, during the execute is going to be the one in market. This is why number one, this is why there's number two over here. Now, when it comes to executing on the A side, it's very similar concept, but in general, your smoke that is most important here is the smoke indoors because the smoke on heaven is actually not important at all. You can execute fully a site with just the number one because from heaven, your smoke cannot be leaking into this area. This cannot be smoked, right? Because that helps the opponents and not you. Like, even if you fully smoke this with a brimstone or omen with two smokes, your opponents can abuse flashes and just jump out of that and be already on site. So the point is, the smoke that is needed here is the one on double doors. So if you have one smoke, do it this one. And if you have two smokes, you can add the one on heaven, but it cannot be leaking. There's a video called Worst Smoke Environment here that you can watch which explains exactly why this is so bad and how to avoid doing, the, doing it in the other examples. Now, the thing is, if you do a proper smoke on heaven, it also creates a one way for someone potentially uh, in Jenny. To, to show you how that works, Astra is, of course, the easiest one to do that one way because the smoke is the biggest. But even with Omen, if you do a proper smoke over here like this, right so it doesn't leak over this wall you're gonna create a small one way that affects the player in jenny so when you're in this position sometimes you want to like peek backwards and you blind yourself right so if you do a proper smoke this person might just get affected by that and he stands in a one way so you're gonna see his legs or her legs or their legs right uh, their legs and you can get an easy kill because of that now next concept is gonna be one smoke executes. That's something that not many people understand in ranked even at Immortal 3 level. And people will be very confused. Why are you doing this? But I can guarantee you those are proper strategies that you should implement when you're playing smokes. The idea of the one smoke execute is to 
create as much pressure and as much space for your team just with one smoke because you might just have one left if you're playing brimstone you might just have one left one smoke left if you have astra you might have just one smoke left right and uh, with omen maybe you just use two other ones during defaulting and you have one left as well so the point is when you go b in this position right here you can achieve something um like this you are able to go into lane without being spotted from market or ct so you essentially achieve the same as smoky market and ct but you are pushed into going to lane right or just peeking out of boat and here but that's not like the best idea if you don't have flashes you can do the same but with astra covering the entirety of b main so there's no gap over here because astra smokes is bigger so to illustrate that in the game when we go into b and i have only one smoke i can still make a lot of pressure by doing the smoke like this so it connects as you can see it connects to the wall on the boathouse and it creates enough space for me to go into it so when i smoke like this i'm able to sneak into this position and then peek into lane without being spotted you can move this smoke a little bit more to the left like this so it has a tighter gap between this wall so you're not being like spotted at all if someone is standing in this spot right to avoid that but then you have an e worse time sneaking into it because there's a tighter spot here that can be spammed right but in general you're able then to go onto side with just one smoke the same idea is on b side but on uh, sorry on a side but on a side what you can do is essentially just do the, those smokes one you just do the pressure outside of a main so you can leak onto the site worth checking all the uh sorry by denying corners and so you're able to check this without being exposed to doors you are you can check heaven later on without being exposed to jenny or you can just pick out of here without being exposed to bricks depending on what you want to achieve right what astra can do as well because of her bigger smoke is you can cover more space and because of that you can move this smoke a little bit more to the left because that allows you to check bricks without being exposed to heaven and jenny and only one side of dice so you can check all of this right here by putting that one smoke and you can push out of that direction and create pressure on site uh and completely deny the player from short any kind of opportunity to mess you up which is very important and that's only with one smoke right you you achieve similar stuff with the omen smoke or the brimson smoke but remember they are smaller so they give you a little bit less options now this is very important the next diagram is for um default formations if you don't know what is defaulting there's a tab here in the compendium that covers this topic this is an entire concept that you need to know in at every single level of playing valorant or uh, or, or cs right because the concept is the same you will fight for map control so if you don't know what defaulting is there's a literally two guides on how to play default on every map or on specifically on lotus now once you know that go back to this and you can read this diagram in a very specific way now those smokes are default smokes that you do while attacking the point of every single one of those smokes is to build up pressure on the opponents and so you can gain map control build pressure on the defenders and maybe push out at some point right so whenever uh let's say when you start the round you can just go for the bottom mid smoke or the short smoke to build up pressure on those players that are holding those specific areas right once you get closer then you can use another smoke that builds up pressure on uh on short if you want to go out of tree or this one here allows you to check tree without being spotted from sight right all of that all of those smokes i'm just showing you particular examples on how you can use those smokes to build up specific angles for yourself to check corners and gain slowly space or deny space to the opponents because remember when you for example play a one three one formation 
even just a smoke over here on A and just one piece of utility like a flash or a recon arrow on A side, sorry, on A main here, will push out this player outside of this smoke and now he has absolutely zero idea what's happening in the A main. So you build up a lot of pressure because the defenders have no idea if there's like a stack, maybe there's going to be an execute because now they lost all the map control and there's a potential execute with that smoke happening. The same idea is here on the B side which, by the way, is very important because it can fully deny uh, any kind of possibilities for a killjoy to gain any value, right? And you can still, like, destroy an armor board in the inside of this smoke. And the, the, the deeper smokes on market are to build up pressure, but once you have bottom-mid control. So those are not something that you start the round with, those two smokes. The, the typical default attacking... Um, smokes that you can use at the beginning of the round, right? Because if you play Omen, Omen specifically is the best for defaulting because he has a recharge of the smokes every 40 seconds, right? Every 40 seconds you have a cycle. So when the, when the barrier drops, you should be using one of your smokes every time the round starts when you know your strategy as a team is going to be to default because you will going to get that smoke back once the second cycle hits, right? So typically what you're going to do is going to use this smoke, this smoke, this smoke, or this smoke to build up pressure at the beginning of the default. And then depending on how the round goes forward, you're going to probably aim at going forward with those smokes or just building up another portion of pressure with the smokes from the first example. Now, on defense, when it comes to uh, smoking, you always approach the round in a way that you assume that your opponent will be defaulting. Now, as a defender, those are smokes that are, for, uh, that are building pressure for the attackers and uh, like the reversal role of the um, defenders, uh, sorry, of the attacker smoke. Like for example, right, on A, this is the attacker smoke, this is the defender smoke. As you can see, they're kind of like exchange positions, right? This is like the logic between the defender and attacking smokes. Now, um, when you start the round, if I start as an omen, you probably most of the time see that many omens just use a one way on A main to deny vision, to build up pressure, and to deny passage without using any utility pieces, right? The, the star always will gonna be used if, if it's a one way. So you know it's a one way. Like for example, here on doors, here on market, here on A main, those are the those are the one ways that you can do. And remember that the market one way and the doors one way, you specifically use that when you're being pushed, right? When you're holding A main, uh, sorry A side, and you do a one way on a, on A doors, that essentially stops an entire push. If you don't have time to do a one way, just always remember to make the smoke outside of this line over here, right? The same logic like here, just. That's about it. If you're being pushed from short, of course, right? If you're being pushed from short and you know that there's no pressure being built from like A main. Now, uh, in general, those smokes are is what's needed for you to build up early game pressure. So if you're not smoking A main, a great example of a smoke is the B link smoke. If you combine it with a flash from like mid, for example, or from short and you smoke B link, you deny your opponent's mid control and typically they're going from B link, which is an important part of the beginning of the round, right? If you smoke bottom mid like this, your opponents have to be really aware if you're not going to peek out of it, right? So th that also builds up pressure. If you smoke top mid, that means that you're probably preparing yourself to peek out from bottom mid or from short into B link, Right? So all of those smokes achieve specific goals and build up pressure on the attackers and they need to adapt to what's happening. And what's most important is that even if you use a smoke, you don't have to like completely take advantage of it, right? So for example, if you use the top mid smoke or the B-link smoke, that doesn't mean that now you have to peek out and hold those angles. You can use this to like this recurring smoke that you get from Omen to make sure that your opponents now have to use utility to clear the space behind that smoke. So you slow down the execution on the default if, um, if you use your own utility. This is why I'm always so tilted when I see players like Omen, Sky, not using the three piece of utility or Sova, for example, Fade, 
in the beginning of the round when you know that it's not an execute from the opposing team. And even if it's an execute, that can tell you early information about potential lurker or exactly how many people are doing the execute. Like in nine out of 10 situations, using your smoke, bird, recon arrow, fade reveal in the first few seconds of the round is the proper choice, right? So yeah, we're going to add more uh, more diagrams, uh, not diagrams, like setups, examples of smokes in the next videos, uh, maybe not next videos, but I'm going to update this with more examples, with more complicated examples. I'm going to add video resources to every single file. Um, so probably going to still add like some potential defense smokes if you're like anchoring a site. And we're probably going to add also uh, Viper Theory, like with walls and harbor at the same time. But I just wanted to release this video already so you guys can learn a little bit from it. Next video, we're going to do bind which is already almost finished so hope you guys enjoyed this and that's it thank you for watching make sure to share the knowledge with your teammates and friends that you play valorant with bye bye